Right, hello, this is uh, just a few little tips for the graphical calculator to use in uh, maths lessons. First of all, turn it on. Um, if you click on the menu, what I'm going to be doing today is on the graph part. So click on graph, execute, and I'm just going to delete this. Um, F1 to delete. I want you to start with maybe y equals x. So if you look on the left hand side, at the minute they're all y equals, you can change it to do x equals, but I'll just stick it, I'll leave it at that for the time being. So y equals, let's try y equals x just here. y equals x. If we press execute, you can see nothing comes on there. So what I would like you to do is change the axes so that different graphs will come on and we'll be able to see them easily on the screen. So I've set six of them so far. You, there's a choice of six memories to set the axes. So if I look on V window there, V window, um, can you see at the minute it's got not X minimum, not X maximum 720, Y minimum minus 2, Y maximum 2. So I'm going to change it. Um, I'll show you the one I've done. Um, but this is how to get them back. Store to store them in STO and recall gets them back. So recall is F5. Recall and I'll recall the first one and execute. And as you can see, I've got the first one X minimum minus 10, maximum 10, scale of 1, dot. I've just left that and I've changed that. That just fits them on um, the screen just nice. Y minimum minus 5 and Y maximum 5. And what you do is you press store and there, store, and then you've got choice of one to six. I'm going to start as one. I'd like you to do the same. One and execute. And just keep pressing execute, it should draw it there. And yet, as you can see, it, why it was X is 45 degrees, and I've picked this scale because it's actually to scale, so the axes are the same. Uh, let's try another one. Um, if I want to try uh, another one, the second one I've stored is V window again and then recall 2. As you can see it's the same but I've just made it minus 20 to 20 and that's the X axis and Y minus 10 to 10. So execute, execute again and you can see, see the little marks on there there's twice as many of them now, but it's still 45 degrees because that's the x-axis is twice as big on the screen as the y-axis so that just fits nice. If I try the third one um, V window recall let's say recall 3 and that's minus 180 to 180 in the x-axis and y minus 2 to 2 execute execute as you can see there's nothing on there this one is really useful for trig graphs and the next one as well so I'll, I'll exit that press exit and I'll go up use the replay button and I'll press delete I want to delete that yes I could have just rewritten over the top of it but I'll delete it so there's nothing there now these ones uh, are good for the trig graphs so I'll just pick the easiest one type sign x so I've got y equals sine x there, execute, execute, and as you can see, it's just nice. And I'll just show you which scale I used again. V window, x minimum minus 180, x max 180, uh, y minimum minus 2, y max 2. And you can store that, store, um, that was in number 3. So store, 3, execute. And I'll show you that uh, the last one I've got is uh, recall 4, the fourth memory. And that is 0 to 360 minus 2 to 2. That's x axis 0 to 360, y axis minus 2 to 2. And I'll show you what that looks like. Once again, it's y equals sine x. Press execute again, and it's got that. Um, I did the fifth one and sixth one, uh, it's up to you whether you do these, but I did them just uh, 
half in the scale or double in the scale so they fit on so if I show you um, V window recall 5 that one is minus 360 to 360 and the X axis Y axis minus 2 to 2 execute execute and as you can see that looks nice for a few other ones and the last one I did it I'll show you this one V window recall 6 and execute there X minimum naught to maximum 720 degrees and Y minimum minus 2 to 2 so if I look at that one execute execute that looks nice now once you've got these you can do a few things um, on this one I can press G solve G solve gives us various things so I press the G solve button notice if I want the root the root is where it cuts the X axis so um, I can't have um, the Y um, let's say I can't have the intersection because there's only one graph so I press intersection which is F5 nothing happens uh, if, if I press uh, G solve again now I want um, which one? root we can get this one, root that one which is F1 now there's the first root, can you see the cross in there? so it gives you X equals naught, Y equals naught now we can get the rest of the roots by using the replay button if you press along there's the next root X is 180, Y 0 next one X is 360, Y 0 next one X is 540, Y 0 and so on let's go to JSOLVE again and have a look at something else uh, what about the Y intercept so that's F4 and as you can see X equals naught, Y equals naught, which it is, you can see it, the sine curve uh, starts at naught, naught. Um, let's have a look and see if there's any more. G solve maximum, that's F2. Um, we've got the first one, first maximum is X equals 90, Y equals 1. Let's go along, use the right play button. There's the next one. X equals 450 and Y was 1 now if I use another one the next maximum is off the screen so it won't go anywhere but let's try the G solve again G solve for the minimum that's the first minimum it's got 270 for X and Y equals minus 1 or negative 1 let's use the replay button to try and find this one here that's it there that one is on six thirty and y equals negative one. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to take this off and try a different one to show you the intersection. So let's go and um, back escape and um, uh, sorry exit to come out exit. So I'll, I'm going to try and type two different uh, graphs in. Let's try. Um, y equals x, just a basic one there. And let's try another one. Execute for that one. Let's try another one. Y equals uh, one divided by x. That's a reciprocal graph. So let's have a look at the two of these. Execute, execute. As you can see, the scale's not very good because that's set up for the trig ones, which was um, the sixth memory. So let's get the V window again. Let's try a V window and recall one, which is X is minus 10 to 10, Y minus 5 to 5. And then have the same ones again. There they go. There's the curves there. That's the reciprocal one of Y it was 1 over X. And this one at 45 degrees is Y it was X. So let's try the G solve and see what we find on here. G solve. Now, because there's two curves, we can't get the root, but we can get the intersection. So let's have a look at the intersection between the two graphs. We've got F5, G solve. Let's intersect there. Now there's the first intersection. X is negative 1, Y is negative 1. Let's, if I press the replay button, move along to the right, there's the next one. 
x is 1, y equals 1. Okay, you can just fiddle about with some of these and try some different graphs and have a look at them and try solving different ones and using the G-Solve for different ones. Uh, if you want to zoom in, one last tip is you press F2, which is zoom, F2, and then zoom in, you press in and execute. And it moves it.